Getting started on the second Amazon diamond painting Christmas project, which are these little coasters. I'm not overly impressed with this little coaster holder, but I don't know, maybe that's something I can order different down the road if I want to. Oh my gosh, look what I just found. I didn't do the little rocking horse. Somehow it got stuck underneath something and I didn't finish it. So I guess I will do that as well. Now I'm going to probably just tackle these very similarly. And it looks like the ones on the end are white and they are shiny, thank goodness. This one I like the least, but you know when it's done, it may be the one I like the most, who knows. I think this time what I'm gonna do is I know that number one, of course, is the white. And since I have two trays, I may just dump all of the white whoops, in one of them. Oh, man. That didn't work too good, did it? Not surprising there. Anyway, I'm going to dump all of the white in one tray and then just keep coming back to it. They're, they're um, staticky. That's why they did that. Sometimes they come out of the little bags like that. I don't know what someone who maybe is experienced with diamond painting knows what to do when there's that much static. But they're still better, I think, than the other ones. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> they're sticking to my hands. All right. Well, that is good enough. So that I'm probably going to keep the white out and then just use number two, which looks like black. And hopefully this one isn't as bad. Nope. Yeah. A little bit still. Yeah, I don't know how that happens. So I'm going to work with two. Oh my goodness. See, I mean, look at that. It's just sticking to my fingers. That's terrible. Terrible, terrible. So I don't know if I need to open all of these up and just let them sit, but that's that's really bad to have to deal with that. All right, well, I'm just going to pick them up off the table. I know that I have two colors that I'm working with, which is number one and number two. So I'm going to do those. Oh, it does not want to come off either. I'm wondering if they used the wrong side on there. I'm to try this side. That's better. So they might even use the views. Oh, I can't get that. <laughs> Is it me? I don't think so. Anyway, that's, uh, if it was happening to somebody else, it might be amusing, but I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to, oh man, start with these ones and see if we can get them on there. And as staticky as these are, you know, I don't know if you could spray it with a little alcohol and then the alcohol would absorb and it would take away um, oh my gosh if it would take away the static on them I don't know yeah I don't know I have to maybe google it and see what they suggest but for now I'm gonna just pick these up off the table and go from there. But the good news is they are definitely, yeah, see there's too many in my tray. You'd Usually, you know, you wouldn't do this, but I just wanted to utilize
the two trays and thinking that maybe they would go a little bit faster for me if I had two colors out at a time and I could determine you know easily what those two colors are and then not have to worry about it I mean as it gets down it'll be easier to pick them up but you know six of one half a dozen of another right It is pretty good sticky on this, so this double-sided tape. I know some people just absolutely prefer the glue, and others prefer the sticky tape. I don't know, uh, really, you know, um, if it makes a difference to me. I've done now both. All of the... Oh, all of the diamond paintings that come from Diamond Art Club, like the one down below, is definitely poured glue. I know, I think sometimes they think that they are better quality if they are poured glue, and that certainly could be true. But as far as, you know, diamond painting and sticking the diamonds on there, a lot of the diamond paintings that you get off of AliExpress, which I think I showed you in one of my very early videos, the ones with the birds, was definitely double-sided tape. And I had no trouble with that at all, getting them on there. You know, speaking of birds, I feed the birds all the time in my backyard. I just, you know, here I say it again on the video that I deleted because of the cross stitch patterns that I had said how much I love birds. Not crows. I hate crows. But I love the birds that, you know, the smaller birds. I mean, it's not like I don't think eagles and hawks are beautiful birds. They're beautiful birds. I just don't feed those in my backyard. So the little songbirds especially, I just love feeding the birds. And today my dogs ran outside because of course I had the sprinkler going and it's hot out and they want water and they love to play in the water, which is just really fun to watch. And so then I, between the water from my sprinkler and feeding them, and the, my dog's drinking water out of her bowl. Slurp, slurp, slurp. They went running. They had this. They had this habit of chasing the birds, and I don't usually think much of it because I just always think they're not going to catch them. Well, today Lucy, my bigger dog, almost got one and injured it. I think. Oh, I just felt terrible. Oh my god. I don't know what. I didn't know what to do. I mean, it's walking around out there. I don't know if he's still out there or not. But I just. Oh, I scolded her pretty badly. I hope that I can stop her now from. I know, chasing the birds and the squirrels. I feed the squirrels too, and they like to chase the squirrels. They almost got a cat in the backyard the other day. I don't know, I wish the neighbors, we live on a really busy street, and I wish they would take better care of their animals. One dog got hit again from the neighbor across the street because they just, the dog kept getting out, and they didn't take measures to keep their dogs safe. And there were two lab, chocolate labs, and one of them got hit by a car. I mean, it just, Flippin' scars me for life. I just hate it. Um, anyway, so they Lucy almost got the neighbor's cat that keeps getting in our yard. And maybe they do it, and thanks to those cats, in some way they keep the mice down. I don't know. But it's not the point. The point is, Lucy almost got it. A little black and white cat that likes to come in the yard probably in poop and look for mice but I keep my dogs in a fence and my fence is always locked and I just do everything I can to make sure that they don't get out and I have a cat too but all of my cats that I've had over the last 15 years or so, almost 20, 
have all been indoor cats. So I'm afraid to go out and look and see if that bird's still out there. He's where he can get water. Um, I don't know, I may have to get some of the bird food and put it on the ground out there so he can eat. Maybe he just needs to heal. I don't know. I just feel like my dog just fed the neighbor's cat. That's that's the way that I think about it. This makes me kind of sick. My son's like, it's just a bird. And I'm like, I know, but it's still a little life and I feel like it's my fault because if I wouldn't have been out there watering and feeding him, it wouldn't have got hurt. Anyway, I'm going to finish all of the white and the black and then get back to you. I finished the white and the black. Just wanted to let you kind of see how they are doing and they are uh, very sticky. So even if it is double-sided tape, which of course I'm sure it is, the quality of the stickiness on them is really good. Once I got going with these, um, they're still, as you can see, a little bit of static in the container uh, with these. Whoop. But as long as, you know, you know, you're willing to deal with that. I think you're okay. Anyway, I just wanted you to see the amount of white and black that was left over. And I was very careful, but you know, inevitably it sometimes feels like no matter how careful and you are, how much attention you pay, you still end up with uh, times where you have to go back and fill one in because you, you missed it. Uh, starting with number three and then finding all of the fours this is what I was doing so that I could make sure that I don't get them too mixed up. See, you know, for me, I, you know, like I said, you would never put this much in there, but I can just, you know, kind of get them some down and then leave some out front for me to get. And I don't mind it. And I was going to tell you um, that I went outside to move my water and I did not see the little bird. So my hope is that it was just kind of, I don't know, shocked or not wounded that bad because I didn't see it in my yard anywhere. I mean, I looked under every bush that I have um, my big lilac bushes, I kind of looked out there too and didn't see him to see if maybe he jumped up into one of the bushes, but I didn't find him. So I'm just going to hope in my mind so that I can live with it that he got away. But they do go on really well. They stick really well on here. They don't move around like the acrylic ornaments did so a different brand I'm assuming but you know who knows it's just you know once they get on there they're kind of staying right where you put them the other ones even after you put it on they seem to slide around just a little bit but these don't do that at all Let's see if I can show you here but I've been just going really slow and um, trying to make sure that I find all of the threes or all of every color that I'm using. I will say too that as coasters, you know, I know there were some reviews of people complaining that, you know, you could never use these as a coaster. And I think that as is, that is probably true, but I mean, I don't know unless you're just, you know, somebody who has never done crafts of any kind at all that, um, you would 
you know, not know that you needed to do something extra on these. As soon as I get these threes on here, whoops. I will kind of show you what I'm talking about. So on the back of these, they're just wood. They're just, you know, little pieces of wood. So my recommendation, um, and I may do it at the end to kind of show you as well, but I don't know. And that is, you know, you at the craft stores, you can get, or even Amazon, you can get those little little square or round little pieces of self-adhesive cork that are specifically made for people who are making coasters. And I use them like here, like on the bottom of my uh, Steelers coasters that I made. And, you know, at some point I may show you how I made these. But, you know, you just, they're just for myself, you know, it's not like I'm selling them or anything. So it doesn't bother me to take a picture that I really like off the internet. But, you know, I made a lot of these that were gifts for friends and family and put family photos, made little collages on them before I did the Mod Podge. But these are the types of things that I'm talking about, these cork bottoms that are self-adhesive. And they do make round ones. But I would suggest that definitely you're going to want to seal these with a good outdoor water uh, resistant sealer. Mod Podge also makes one of those. And I would seal the entire piece. I would seal the bottom with the Mod Podge. I would seal the sides because that wood will just warp if it gets wet if you're really using it. But I would definitely seal the entire piece before I put the coaster piece on the bottom. And then I think you would have a better chance of having a, the type of coaster that you could um, use. Because I know that as they are, they really are not practical for using as as a real life coaster. Anyway, that is just kind of what I have been doing is taking each coaster and finding the colors and then filling those in. So I'll be back again. I finished these coasters and I think overall they turned out pretty cute. I still don't particularly like this one. And before I show you closer, over here are all of the ones that I had left. So I actually, I had, I had plenty of diamonds. When people say they don't have enough diamonds, I just kind of always wonder if maybe they either lose them or they use them in the wrong color spot and then they run out. I don't know. But anyway, I had no trouble with that. And like I said, I think they turned out pretty cute, except for this one. I'm just not really fond of this one. I wish, you know, in hindsight, um, I would have used maybe a different color of gold or something. And then a darker red would have looked much better, I think, than the black on here. But that's um, obviously what it looks like up close. I think this one is one of my favorites. And the last one is this little snow guy. And then I did go ahead and finish the ornament that I forgot. Well, I guess I didn't forget. It kind of got lost in things and then didn't get done. So I went ahead and did it. And then it got me thinking, um, I really, really like the little rocking horse. I think it's really cute. So I think what I'm going to do with these, instead of hanging them up somewhere, is I'm just going to use them as gift tags, I think, for Christmas. So I'm just going to put, maybe like on this one, um, find a gold-colored string and, um, you know, loop it through here and just use them for gift tags on packages. There's enough uh, back here that's white that you can just write on here 
you know, to whoever. And I did find my Mod Podge, which is this one, which is the outdoor exterior. So it's a water-based sealer, glue and finish. And I just use these because I like them better than the brushes because I think the brushes, um, you know, leave brush strokes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one in, of these coasters and I'm going to do this little guy so that you can just kind of see what, what I'm doing. So you're going to want to make sure that you are not missing any of the diamonds, which, you know, by the time you get done, sometimes your eyes are kind of bug-eyed and you miss them, um, you know, because everything then gets blurry. The other thing I want to do is just kind of make sure that if there are some like that one I just moved that was obviously, you know, off center of the circle a little bit too much, um, a little bit isn't going to matter. And see, here are a couple of peas that I did not get. And so I put those in, and I'm just double checking again to make sure. This one's a little off, so I'm gonna move that over and really push down on it. And my roller, I tried to figure out where I put my roller, but I couldn't find it, so I'm just gonna not worry about it for this one. But I would take my roller and roll on these just to make sure they're good and pressed down. Same with this one. Obviously, I don't see any that are, that are missing. And I'm just gonna use a paper plate. You can use whatever you want. Um, sometimes, uh, I'm trying to think maybe wax paper, you could put wax paper down. And I could not find my alcohol wipes, so I'm just going to, I sprayed a little bit of alcohol on a rag, and I'm going to just kinda of try to wipe off these little diamonds a little bit, get anything that's left on there, any residue from the wax so that they're nice and shiny. I poured some Mod Podge onto a plate. It's pretty thick. I, I don't think I'm gonna thin it down. You certainly could go ahead and water it down if you wanted to. And then, just so you know, this does dry clear. But I'm just going to go ahead and put a coat on. And the reason why I use these is because I just, um, I don't like to leave the brush strokes on here. And like I said, it does dry clear. It's definitely um, what I used on here, and even this, you can see from use, it does kind of dull it a little bit. But then you can just always take a, a rag and kind of clean it off, and you can see that a lot of that um, goes away. It just shines it back up again. Um, like I said, alcohol, for me, it just evaporates very quickly and will take off residue pretty good. But they do hold up pretty well. I mean, eventually they're going to, you know, kind of wear out like anything that you buy and use over time is going to lose, you know, some of its shininess. And I'm not getting very thin coats on here, but maybe that's just, you know, subjective, I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do the sides as well while I'm doing the top. Just kind of clean off the back a little bit. I don't want to get it too goopy. I want to stick it to my plate. Okay. I'm going to let those dry and then I'm going to put more coats on them. And then when I'm done, like I said, um, I will flip this one over for sure and do the back. I'm not gonna worry about this one. 
And then after the back is dry, I will put one of these um, only round cork self-adhesive coaster backs for my coasters. Would I recommend these? Yeah, I would recommend these.